Hi there, this is Jake Lyle coming to you from Zambia in Southern Africa. I'm on assignment right now with Child Fund. I'm having a great time. Behind me is the River Zambezi and it borders Zimbabwe on the southern side. Further down the river, just less than a kilometer, is the border to Mozambique. So right now I'm at a confluence of three different countries in Southern Africa. In this area of Zambia, Child Fund New Zealand and Child Fund Australia are working on a lot of different projects. I'm here to document both the needs of the people of this area of Zambia, but also to report on the successes of a goat project that started a couple years ago. As I move around this area called Luangwa, Zambia, I'm really getting to see a lot of Child Fund's projects up close, and I wish I could spend more time here. Today we passed by a school for disabled students and students with special needs. There's a number of blind and deaf children that, that attend there. These children wouldn't have an education if it weren't for this school. Child Fund has implemented a lot of water projects, especially in schools, and also brought clean water to villages that previously had no access before. So even though my scope is very limited in what I'm doing here this week, Child Fund's projects here are very, very broad. The riverbanks may look really lush behind me, but out in the village where a lot of people are living, they don't have access to water. Uh, food is scarce. One thing that always impacts you when you experience Africa is the amount of need. And the, and the needs here in Zambia are great. We are in a very remote uh, corner of the country. Uh, we're in a very dry area. Um, when we go out to the field every day, it takes an hour to and from, and we have to pack with us. There's no, uh, there's no uh, lunch available, there's no water. Um, everything comes with us. Um, but we're visiting people that live in these areas and that experience these areas every day. Our shoot yesterday took us to the health center, and it impacted me to see uh, so many people lined up waiting for treatment outside. Uh, women with babies and children that have uh, come down with malaria. Um, so we're making a really bright, happy video, but even all around us there's a, a lot of needs. And that continues to impact me. Uh, the, the families that we're visiting have been helped. They've been able to improve their farming and their food security with the goats that they've received. But unfortunately, there's a lot of people around here that have not experienced those benefits. I've been learning a lot about the gift of a goat, the impact of a gift of a goat, and we've been talking to beneficiaries in Zambia. I never realized before coming out here and talking to farmers and parents and children just how much of an impact goats do make. In one instance I found today, a goat actually made the difference between life and death for a child. There was a woman in this village and her granddaughter had malaria. She had no money to take her to the hospital and had no money for treatment. But she was able to sell one of her goats, get money for treatment, get money to take her granddaughter to the hospital, and it saved that granddaughter's life. One of the things that surprised me the most was the generosity of the people here. We spent all day filming uh, with Perina and her family and their goats. Uh, we made them cook food and, and take the goats in and out of the pen and milk the goats and do this again, take one, take two. And at the end of the day, they were still so happy, they were still so joyous, and they gave us a gift. They gave us uh, some goat that they had slaughtered, and they wanted us to take it back to our hotel and cook it so that we would have a meal that night. That may seem very simple to us who live in the developed world, but that is true, true generosity and it's sacrifice. So I will always remember that gift, and I'll always remember that sacrifice that the family made for our team today.